Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. It's a beautiful morning here in Navesgain outside on the lake. And today we are reviewing Telrix Fishing 2.0 mod. Well, I'm all set up for a nice fishing day. We have the bedroll. I've got my campfire going. It's been a bit cold overnight. My chest, my toolbox. And here is the first part of the mod. This is the fishing chair. Now, the fishing chair looks a lot like the normal chair. If we hold R and change shape, we will see some various colours. I do like this blue. We'll plonk that down and we can sit out here and look at the lake. Of course, we will need a fishing rod. And that fishing rod is created from an iron fishing hook and a fishing reel and a little bit of wood. So let's have a look at the hook. In game, you will need to find some lead fishing weight, three of them, and two iron. It's a very simple to make. Also, the reel, the fishing reel is a sewing kit, three iron, five wood, and four scrap polymers. Eventually, what you can do is then create the pole, and the pole, you will take those two components with just ten wood, and you will have created it. It looks quite funky, and we can cast away and start fishing straight away. Yet, there is more to the mod, and as we have a look in here, we can create a bug net. Now, let's see what that takes to make. If I type in bug net, we will need five short iron pipe, a sewing kit, cloth fragment, and wood. And once we've got this, we can hunt for these various different six bugs that are around. The worms we dig up, but the other five are findable within the actual world. So worms give you a 2% additional chance to catch some fish. The bait cons consume chance, as in the chance of it disappearing, is 95%. And then as we go through, we have a grub, 5%, grasshopper, 9%, a snail, 12%, a butterfly at 17 and a dragonfly at 25 percent so how do we use this net so i'm out and about with my net that i've crafted in my hand and when i crouch we can hear the bugs make some sound now this is i can actually see it there this is has an incredibly well written uh, audio direction so you know exactly where it is if you're wearing headphones and these little chaps as they're walking about if you hit them then you get to keep them you may sometimes see sneak damage as they appear but that is because they're classified as zombies which i found out because when i was are going to make this game i didn't want these things all ruining my video so what i did was i turned zombies off and i could never hear anything at all it was completely silent so make sure you got zombies on and you can catch your bait and i will show you in a moment how to use it so when we have our bait i'll just stick my little fishing net back in its toolbox we can take that bait and unusually place it in our hand and eat it mm, yum 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 but that gives us a nine percent have a look in the bottom corner there the bottom left we can see nine percent chance um, of being able to catch a fish now we put a rod in our hand and we try and cast using left mouse button and nothing happens well it's all about getting your feet wet the moment your feet are wet you can cast away and this little icon appears well this is not a little icon but this little bobber and you just have to wait. It's like good old fishing. You've got to wait for a while. But as you do that, um, eventually you hear a sound. And we are going to have to hit the F key. And we're going to have to hit it a lot. Because we're going to reel this fishy or whatever item it is in. So now the sound has occurred. I am tapping away. And you can see in the bottom left hand corner the number going up. If I tap really fast now. The number will go up over 100, and I will have got something. You can see at the bottom right, I've got a crab. Ooh, yummy, yummy. That will be interesting to see what it can be turned into. But it says a crab can be caught in the forest biome, where I am during the day, and that's where I am. You can do this on any river, any single lake like this, and even the sea. So let's have a look at the things that you can catch. I just got a crab, but if we go through them, there's a bluegill that can be caught in the snow biome during the day, a catfish, the forest biome during the night, the crab that we've just caught, then a, a crappie, 
which can be caught in the forest biome during the day or night. A grouper, desert biome at night. A largemouth bass, desert biome day and night. Uh, mackerel, a wasteland biome day and night. An octopus, this can be caught in the wasteland during the day. A red snapper, desert during the day. And it goes on and on for several different things. There's also a lucky coin. I haven't worked out if that does anything yet, but sometimes you collect a coin. Sometimes an old boot. And I think when you're at sea, you can get a sloppy bunch of seagrass. There are a few other things there, such as the shrimp and trout and tuna. And also you can, I don't know where you find this, maybe from the trader, you get a fishing cache that's been added. We open that up, then it just gives you a single fish each time, which is, I guess, okay. Um, but these fish can be turned into food. So let's grab a few of these and see what we can make with them. There are no recipes for these three random items. But if I get a blue gill and hit recipes, then we make a blue gill fillet. Like a lot of these things, like a, a crappy, I love a good crappy, then that makes a crappy fillet. Um, but if we take something like a crab, then we can make crab cakes. And this is a bit more interesting because we've got cornmeal, animal fat and mushroom. Octopus, that requires animal fat and golden rod. I wonder what the shrimp does. I haven't looked at this one yet. This one needs cornmeal, animal fat and chrysanthemum. There's plenty of new foods there and they are very nutritious and very good for the old health bar. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? So that's all the kind of random things. I'll put these back in the chest. Fish and crabs and bits and bobs that we can make food out of. Now, there's lots of different bait and this time I'm going to use a dragonfly because a dragonfly gives me a 25% chance. So we will um, eat it, which is very, very odd. Dip our feet in the water and cast our little line out, waiting for me to press F like a lunatic whilst considering getting an auto clicker. There we go. That was much quicker this time. And I'm just hammering that old key, getting that number in the bottom left-hand corner up to 100. And once we're there, we've caught ourselves another crab in the forest biome during the day, which is all lovely. So maybe I should put that straight in with my collection. I'll also get rid of these things and I'll show you something else I found out. Because the first thing that my brain thought was, hmm, how's this working, this mod? Is it when you put your feet in water? So, <laughs> just for fun, you can actually make yourself a little area of water. And we're about to do that now. I'm going to have to just place these few things down. And if I get my bucket of water and pour it out and stick my good old feet inside here, well, I'm going to cast away. Let's cast away. And boom, we're fishing. Now, this is the crazy thing. It is a little bit buggy like this, but I am really enjoying the mod. Let's just take my line uh, 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 and pull it all the way around here. In fact, I might just twist it around a tree. Um, but I can hear, if I just keep pressing F, I can hear that even though I've ruined my line and I'm on dry land, that if I keep pressing F, then guess what's going to happen? Well, hey, I've just got myself a crappy. So, if you fancy a good crappy, you can do it anywhere. In this large pool of water or in a lake itself. So this is called Telrix Fishing 2.0 mod. It's the second version, been updated, and is ready and working for Alpha 20. I hope that that's been a bit of fun for you. Please like and comment below. I'm hoping to go through loads of mods, as we do with tips and tricks and POIs and everything on this channel. And of course, everything is linked down below for you to download. I will see you later. Goodbye.